Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi and today we are playing some Football Manager 2016 with Arsenal in our Gunning for Glory save. Now this will be our last season in this save, hopefully transitioning over to FM17. You can see Alexis Sanchez is in great form so far, the captain is leading us quite well. Um, Bellerin's assists, you know, the fullbacks are quite good on FM16. We've got Ramsey in the middle of the park as well, excelling. So that's pretty decent. Um, when we look here at a little bit of the recent form, since that Man City game, we've really pulled things together quite well. In fact, it's the Palace game before that. Uh, in the league, you know, we've had one draw in that time with a bunch of wins. We got knocked out of the Capital One Cup, which is good. We won in the FA Cup, not so good, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to play the youngsters against Wigan in a game coming up. Champions League, we did okay, losing to Fenerbahce, but still managing to get through. Now, we did get uh, Paris Saint-Germain, which is not an easy tie. But then again, there weren't that many clubs that would have been easy for us. Oh, dear me. I mean, I think Monaco was one of the easiest teams we could have got. They actually won their group. Um, and I think Porto might have been another one. I can't remember exactly, but yeah. you could got to beat the big teams if you want to do anything in the Champions League. And... You know, we're starting off with one of the biggest in PSG, so that's going to be an interesting test later on. However, back to the league form, you can see some great wins here. And, um, yeah, Norwich, 5-1, that was a hat-trick for Luis Enrique. Um, you know, against Chelsea, Alexis Sanchez hit four, of course, on the left. Luis Enrique hit four. So we've got some good players in good form. Let's check, take a look at the squad quickly. You can see by the players that have had the most appearances, we're trying to keep that first team sort of together. But Louis Enrique has 18 goals in just 12 appearances. I don't know what is with this kid. I mean, he is just an absolute football god for some reason in my teams both Catania and Arsenal in FM16 he just scores goals I mean it's frightening how good he has been so that's 18 and 12 just behind Alexis Sanchez and ahead of Romelu Lukaku almost you know well it is double the goals in less appearances so yeah absolutely mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing i'm trying to think of of a way to say stuff but i i just can't like mind-blowing how good enrique has been so with kuki in the club and a couple of good youngsters as well to come through lukaku i mean his time would be limited at the club anyway so now would be a good time to sell him so we might be selling him in january to improve somewhere else in the team oops assists are from bellerin as well as alexis sanchez you can see enrique is getting up there with those zeal so george fullbacks attacking midfielders enrique getting in on the act as well that's what i like to see man of the match well, Bellerin's just been playing better than most average ratings. Vlasic's one game was good. Tillman's one game was great as well. But overall, it's Enrique and Sanchez that are really, really performing so far. Over the last five games, you see Mesut Ozil has been outstanding. Odegaard as well. Uh, Enrique, Sanchez, Bellerin. Ricardo Rodriguez has stepped up as well. But really, you know, nobody's played too badly at all. So you can see we've got a really good team. 
with some really good potential to develop even further. It's a young side as well, of course, Sanchez and Ozil are now 29. This would probably be their last season at the club. Um, so yeah, that, that would be a big change. When you look at it, if those two did leave, let's say we get rid of those two 29-year-olds, and then we're looking around, what can we do? Well, Mario Gomez, um, Mario Gomez, Mario Gotza will come in for Ozil. That's an easy one. The problem becomes replacing Alexis Sanchez. So if we got Isco and Gotza, then it would probably be Martin Odegaard. It looks like Martin Odegaard, so that's not a bad one. Three star, bit of potential, that could be quite good. On the bench, we'd still have Vlasic and we'd still have Ante Koric. So the way we built this team, even if we're not going on any further with this save, if we get on to FM17, you can see losing Lukaku, losing Ozil, losing Sanchez, maybe even selling Pogba. Um, what else? is there that we could do like Ricardo Rodriguez Thielmans could go and we're still not weakening the side and the squad in any way shape or form so today's games they're pretty decent games Chelsea got a mid-table clash Liverpool play Burnley that should put a little bit more pressure on us because um, Liverpool are gaining a little bit of points behind another mid-table Leicester, West Ham, always is the game of the day, but we need to get a result at Old Trafford, and it's not the easiest place to go and get a result. Oh, that's a good team. That's a good team they've got out as well. But it's a very good team we've got out, and I, I can't understate that. I think that this is a very, very good team that we've got out. So George is a little bit sort of lacking match fitness right now, which is a shame. Let's put Lukaku in and Odegaard. Um, and of course, Mario Gotza. Uh, go with Ainsley's not really fit. Let's go with Fred. And then Chambers and Rodriguez. Okay, that's a decent little bench. And yeah. The good thing about this side, you know, hopefully George lasts the game pretty well. He lacks a little bit of match fitness. He's got no protection over this side. But hopefully he will be okay. I think the centre-backs are pretty good. Bellerin down this right-hand side is going to be playing quite well for us and up front Enrique and Alexis 23 and 24 for Alexis Sanchez 18 in 12 for Louis Enrique if they don't score goals against Man United we don't have a chance but they've been doing it all season long so we've got our bench to cover every position we need and we really really now need to step up and actually get a result here so crunch time De Gea, Shaw, Heysage, Goldeniga and Murillo in defense that's a very very good back five Rafinha and Ande Herrera pretty decent centre midfield partnership Mata behind Martial and Memphis and Baradi out on the wings Creativity from Mata, Rafinha, Herrera's an engine as well. Um, they all work really hard, that midfield trio. Memphis, Brady, Martial, all very, very dangerous. Heishaj and uh, Shaw, good fullbacks. And solid in defence here with a good goalkeeper. So that's, that's something that uh, we're going to have to be wary of. 
Now, Butland's a good goalie. Smalling in defence, pretty decent. Patrick's okay. Daly Blinn's pretty decent as well. Schweinsteiger, I'm not too worried about. Schneidlin can come in as a midfield enforcer. And Bernardo, of course, can be really dangerous. So, I'd expect to see him come in for Mata, maybe. But they don't have a lot up front. I mean, yes, Berardi and Memphis can both play up front. So, I guess not having too much on the bench for there is not going to be too much of an issue. So, always shut these boys down. Mark them. Kick them. Get them out. Close down the full backs and the goalie. And we're going to show everybody in the weaker foot. And then make sure we take off that instruction so we don't get confused next time. Good. That's about that. Calm. Go out there and impress me. Anybody? Not really. The port may be a little bit, but uh, not too much. Okay, so Enrique's happy. Sanchez, Ozil, George, and Mamana as well. So that's a decent spread. Bellerin is motivated. He usually does well. So the back four all showed a little something. So not sure exactly there. Midfield, Ramsey, Pongba, not too much there. So that's going to be my worry is the midfield battle. But they should win against anybody in world football. They really should. Um, and my goal scorers up front, they are the guys who really should be doing the business for us. And they're both happy. So, let's see how we get started here. And you can see that counter-attack from Man United setting up early. And here it comes again. So yeah, yep, yeah. that is going to be the one worry. Oh. That is going to be the one worry with this. So I'm going to go down to control straight away. Good work by Pogba, but United are going to come in to this game. There we go, lovely work. Enrique does well. Hector Bellerin. Okay, player instructions. Stay wider, run wider. That's something I've noticed more and more. Stay wider, run wider. Shoot and roam. Uh, roam more often. Shoot more often. Yeah. That'll be about it. Or zero with the corner. The poor can't get there. That's nice work. Oh, should have crossed it in. Should have done something past it, maybe. Taking an early shot. Instead, trying to run through two people. Didn't quite work out. Shaw got that challenge in. George to Pogba. Oh, nice by Hector. And Luke Shaw again. But we do get another corner. Battle of the fullbacks here, it seems. Looks like Hector Bellerin going one on one with Luke Shaw. So for damage. Okay. We're going to leave Enrique on. He is a goal scorer extraordinaire. Oh, what was that? Like Pogba just absolutely hammered a shot, hit someone. Falls to Meza Ozil and he just absolutely slams it into that netting. 
Let's go. Alexis Bellarine picks it up. Oh, Herrera. And here they come. Thankfully, not a good shot. Oh. That had me worried there. Alexis Sanchez wastes a good free kick there. High and wide. Not the prettiest free kick. Half an hour with one nil down uh, one nil up, sorry. We could be in good position going into half time, but it looks like there's a few people here not really not really playing too well. Aaron Ramsey, Alexis Sanchez not really showing what they can do. But there's Ramsey. And there we are up to Bellerin. My God, it's just back and forth and back and forth. And Martial equalizes. Ugh. Martial equalizes. I mean, I... Oh. That's kind of taken the wind out of my sails. I said the early crosses. Like, I don't know what else to do. We got off to such a good start, but... Ugh, that counter-attack. <sighs> Hate the counter-attack. Oh, Louis Enrique with a very poor shot there. I mean, he's not played his best today. Alexis Sanchez and Ramsey have both been pretty poor. Mamana there messed up. First yellow card of the game goes to one matter. Golden Eagle gets lectured. I mean, they have been kicking us about a bit. There's been a few little pushes and I think a trip from us, but they've been a bit more, a bit more physical than us. I'm far from pleased, boys. Far from pleased. Let's get out there and make this match our own. This is an early title decider. Or maybe not decider, but this is a statement of intent, if nothing else. This is all about what we want to do. Pogba does well. Oh, but Sanchez... George does well. And the captain through on goal puts it wide. Alexis Sanchez. Oh my God. Oh, that could have been the chance. That could have very well been the chance. So we're going to be kind of shouting at them a little bit. Here comes Bernardo. Kind of what we expected. That free kick doesn't beat the first man. 
Here comes Bernardo. And Memphis Depay puts it wide, which is very, very lucky for us. Got to change it up. I've got to change it up. So Odegaard comes in for Isco, who's done nothing. Mario Götze comes in for Alexis Sanchez, who again has done nothing in this game. Want to keep the third sub in case we do need to replace George. I don't think we do, though. Kind of still looking here, Fred, for Ramsey, maybe. That might end up being the switch. So Udegaard. And good. Let's see what we can do here. So Mezzozi looks a little nervous. Good from the port, but again, not much movement up front. And that's gonna kill us. That is just going to kill us sooner rather than later. Let's make sure we're marking who we're supposed to be marking as well. So let's set that up. And Hazard finally gets booked. And Herrera on. Uh, sorry, off for. Schweinsteiger. So how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this then? I think we need to go retaining possession. I think we do Gonna keep that third sub just for now. Schneidel in there. Give him a book in ref. Come on. Very lenient referees today. Very lenient. So Ramsey's got the captain's armband. Is he gonna do anything with this? Come on, boys. Oh, Bernardo gets free. That's not what we want to see. Emmerich there does block the shot. Oh, my days. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We're, we're losing to a Man United team that's hit us once in the counter-attack and has had one chance one chance from a corner that they've taken. Like, they have been poor. Absolutely poor. Okay. 6.6, 6, Ramsey not doing anything. I need to go back on full back attack. I need to go advanced playmaker attack. And attack there. Because we're just not getting anything else. And let's push you up as a poacher then, because you're not doing anything right now. In the role you're playing, so... Let's make that sub then, 15 minutes for the end. I think the goal now is just a score. Oh, this game's done. This game is done. We've got outplayed two set pieces and one counter-attack. And we could not compare with that. I mean, it's just absolutely... 
annoying. Absolutely annoying. So we go overload. We've got 10 minutes to get two goals now to get anything out of this game. Now, not a great game from Luis Enrique. Not a great game from Alexis Sanchez, our two pseudo goal scorers. Also in midfield, you know, didn't have the best game out of Isco. We didn't have much luck as well with uh, Ramsey playing poorly today. Backline didn't help us out too much. Donnarumma's not been at his best. But really, United have just hit us on the counter-attack and played for set pieces. And it's got them the win today. It has got them the win. So, I'm far from pleased, boys. Far from pleased. Pogba, somehow ends up on a 9 rating. Um, goes to show how badly Ozil played, because he got a goal, ended up on a 7, and actually went down from half-time. So we lost that battle in midfield. Enrique couldn't get any anything done whatsoever, and it looked like Bellerin was being taken out of the game every chance with Luke Shaw. Every time he went down that right flank, Luke Shaw was there to stop him. So not the best at all. Here we go, motivated. So at least they've got their feedback and they know now. But as to the visitors, I don't think so. There were five or six yellow cards United could have had and they didn't. I mean, oh, it's tight at the top of the table now. Man City open up a six point gap once more. Then it's back to us, one point ahead of Stoke, and two ahead of Man United. <sighs> Top four still looks pretty good for us at this stage. We're well in charge of a top four spot. But anything more than that is currently up in the air. Stoke are playing really well this season. United have just done us again there. They've got a great defence, and that's kind of what they're playing off. Man City, they're the team to beat this season. We need to get more chances and convert them, and I'm not sure exactly what else we need to do. Elsewhere, Liverpool drew, Chelsea drew, Leicester got a little bit of a win. Not the worst in the world. Nobody really played badly enough for us to kind of uh, go and shout that. Those two set pieces for Golden Eager is... That's what killed us today, and he's not particularly great in the air. 16 strength, 15 jumping, 15 heading, only 6 foot 2. We shouldn't have players that could take care of him. The first one was headed on from Schweinsteiger, so maybe marking was a little bit dodgy there. The second one, though, definitely should have been cut out for him. And that goal from Martial, I mean, Mamana went in early, didn't get that tackle. So tactically, I think United had us today, but sitting on counter-attack at home, not the Man United way, not what I expected to see, and that's kind of come back to bite me there. And it's not how they played against us earlier in the season. So, very disappointed, but hey, that is football. To go ahead and then to get pegged back before half-time was bad enough. The collapse at the end really isn't what we wanted, but we've seen how we've actually got things done so far this season in the league. We've seen this amazing run we've had of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5. No, damn it. 10, 1. Yeah. 10 wins and 1 draw in our previous 11 Premier League games before this result. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So we need to keep this sort of rebound back, get these wins against Lantern, West Brom, Everton, ignore the Wigan game, go over Leicester, 
Swansea and then it's another big game third place Stoke then we've got PSG a couple of decent games to recover but then a double header again Man City and PSG second leg I think it's going to be PSG the next game is going to be the second leg of PSG unless we get absolutely trounced in that first leg where we've got no chance um, in which case it will be the Man City game but I'm going to try and go through to Man City game or the PSG game try and get these results we've got Stoke, Man City and the two Paris Saint-Germain games right after them which is really really tough really tough but not too bad of a run in so I'm hoping that we can get enough points here to put pressure on Man City beat them there and if they drop a game somewhere we'll be level on points with them at that stage and then it's only really Europe where we are going to be really really trying to uh, overcome the odds so it's not all doom and gloom we still got a little bit left to play for but yeah guys that's going to wrap up this episode and this installment of Gunning for Glory I hope you've enjoyed if you have smash that like button subscribe for new content follow me on twitter at chris or me for the latest news etc there's a giveaway going on for um, franchise hockey manager 3 similar to fm it's about ice hockey you can play around the world very very good game i've got a giveaway going on for that so check the description and the comment section down below a link will appear somewhere there and there's one there's a pinned tweet on twitter at chris or me so go over there enter the giveaway who knows you could win yourself a brand new game but like i say that's going to wrap this up thanks very much for watching guys until next time take care i've got some work to do to get us back in contention with the premier league and get us ready to focus on the champions league till next time i've been chris Olmy. see you guys later on